I get to research the world's top marine predator who eats sharks for breakfast and they treat stingrays like chocolate. I'm Dr Ingrid Visser with the Orca Research Trust and Whale Rescue. The Orca Research Trust started in 1997 and we've been studying the orca around the New Zealand coastline ever since then. We focus on what they feed on, where they go, who they hang out with, but we also get to rescue them when they get stranded. So part of what I do is also with whale rescue and we also help other whales and dolphins when they get in trouble. My research really varies. Sometimes I'm sitting in the office all day writing scientific papers. Other times I'm liaising with the public or I'm attending a stranding and a rescue or I'm even swimming with the orca when I'm out doing the research in the wild. Ever since I was a kid, I was fascinated with orca and I've been really lucky to have had that dream when I was young to be a marine biologist and now to be living it. And so for me, I think it's just passing on that passion about the marine environment and how amazing these animals are to other people. And that's really one of the key things that drives me to do this research. The other thing is to actually protect them. We have fewer than 200 orca that live around the whole of the New Zealand coastline. They're one of the most endangered species in the country. They rival kiwis for how endangered they are. So it's really important that we protect them and their environment. They're what we term an umbrella species, which means that if you protect them, because it acts like an umbrella, you protect everything that's underneath them. So we really need to make sure that they can continue to thrive in our oceans. So one of the things that I've always strived for is to make sure that the animals come first, whether that's protection for them, or whether that is uh, at a stranding where we're trying to rescue them, whether it's trying to get them out of captivity, because although we don't have orca in captivity here in New Zealand, there's over 60 of them in captivity around the world, and they suffer horribly in those conditions. I'm really fortunate to have grown up here in Northland and it's a remarkable place to do whale biology because there are so many different harbours that you can reach so quickly and the New Zealand orca are one of the few populations in the world that go and hunt inside shallow harbours. So it's just very fortuitous that I grew up here. When I first hooked up to the internet living here in Northland, it was extremely difficult, very patchy and uh, very unreliable. And I fortunately came across Uber and from that moment on, it's just been going forward. It has been leaps and bounds. Just recently, I was able to coordinate a whole rescue of seven orca because we were in lockdown and I couldn't go there. But because we had Uber, we had stable, reliable internet, I could get videos and photographs and watch things real time and direct how to help those animals. It was just remarkable.